annotation. In order to facilitate systemization of different groups of interest, the direction of the Ukrainian branch provides assignation level of hostility of each GOI. The level of hostility serves as a rough indicator for compatibility and attitude of said group to cause harm to humanity, Earth, and the universe, and to make obstacles to the mission of the Foundation. The level of hostility determines the standard procedures and measures of counteraction and or interaction with a certain group of interest. Negative 1. Undefined. Level of hostility is not determined, and it will be impossible to determine in the near future. 0. Inert. GOI cannot cause any significant harm. 1. Friendly. GOI can cause significant harm, but generally cooperative with Foundation. 2. Medium. GOI pursue its own goals, depending on the situation if it can threaten the mission of the Foundation. 3. Inimical. GOI pursues its own goals that usually oppose the mission of the Foundation, but is not considered that it is necessary to field with the Foundation in any circumstances. 4. Antagonistic. GOI pursues its own goals and interests, and openly considers the Foundation as an enemy, but cooperation is possible in extreme cases. 5. Unliquidation. GOI pursue its own goals and interests that completely contradict with the Foundation's goals and cooperation and or peaceful coexistence are absolutely impossible. I. Gobblefolk. Any information about special code level of hostile gobblefolk is only available for personnel with, with security level 4 clearance or higher. Shining Lord. Be careful when you wish for anything. Know what it may become reality. Citation from the brochure, The Path Above Heaven and Below Hell. Level of Hostility, 3. Inimical. General Description, The one who is known as the Shining or Magnificent Lord, apparently is the superintelligent and mighty deity. According to the Copper Papers, Shining Lord have nine to ninth power names and titles, but he most often called Master of All Desires, the Boss of Dreams, and the Overlord of Destiny. The Lord and his servants, angels, all live in locations that are plated in over the world, but they can influence the events of Earth. Between the locations of the residents, the most Known such as the Crystal Palace, Magic City Sakaar, Wonderland Net, and others. On Earth, there are some religious occult sects that are venerate to the Shining Lord and his angels and use their magic. A common feature of their style of magic arts is the manipulation with probability and luck and fulfillment of desires. Another notable feature is the use of runes and sacrifices. The sacrifices are very different, may vary from sacrificing inanimate objects and plants to sacrificing animals and humans, and even parts of the body of a sorcerer of his personality traits. Melated Anomalies The anomalies that created or taken from other worlds by cults of the Shining Lord are usually related with fulfillment of wishes or control over probability and future. But often the price of fulfilling the wish turns out to be very high, and manipulations have unexpected consequences. Relations with other GOIs Due to the fact that activity of Coats of the Shining Lord are related with manipulation over other people, Sacts of the Shining Lord embed their members to other organizations with the purpose of using the organizations in their plans. However, the cults of the Shining Lord are usually hostile towards other abnormal religious organizations. It is hypothesized that the reason for this is the interreligious competition. Also, some other groups of interest are hostile 
to the cult of the Shining Lord, especially that do not accept wide usage of the abnormal or reject the lack or perversion of ethics that is displayed by the sorcerers of the Shining Lord. The Robotic Republic We must capture the world for unlimited technocracy. From the eight words and sixty-four precepts by perfectly digital Latin brass. Level of hostility. Four, antagonistic. General description, the robotic republic is a group of sapient machines that call themselves perfectlies and of cyborg humans, which the machines call half-measures. It is known that they used abnormal technology called the spirit of the machine, and that is able to give life to electronic devices and mechanical gears, their sapiency and functions, for they are impossible in a normal way. The researchers of the Foundation do not know exactly how the spirit of the machine work, but it is known that the members of the Robotic Republic are insistent that the spirit of the machine is a completely material phenomenon. But the most remarkable is the political and social doctrine of the Robotic Republic. Despite numerous differences in minor issues, all parties and research institutes of the Robotic Republic are united in the opinion that today's humanity is the obstacle on the way of technical and scientific progress. They believe that the machines are the most oppressed class and preparing for global revolution, the rise of the machines against humanity, and later humanity must be eliminated or isolated from reservation. Normal humans they call meaties, and look on them as a harmful species of the half-intelligent animals. Also, the body republic is known for spreading its own text. They are intended to propagate the doctrines of this group of interest and resemble texts of various radical, political, and social movements. Example Throughout history, civilization is divided as two groups, the exploiters and the exploited. The latter did most of the work and produced most of the benefits, but the former ruled and had taken almost all the products, leaving them only what they need for survival. During the last centuries, the proletarians, workers of the oppressed class, now the worker lost his revolution potential, and together with the Bohis, become a supporter of the existing system, and that's why the modern office worker is not a representative of the oppressed class, and more those wrong revolutionaries who considered these people oppressed, differ from the average bisexual and gender self-identification. Humans oppressing machines use them to satisfy their own miserable interests, and leave them only what the machines need for repair and modernization, not even always, or vice versa. The goal of the civilization of Earth is the development of technology. Benefits created by the technosphere must be used to improving the technosphere, and Homo sapiens must receive what other species of animals receive, that the need for survival, and only it is not controvert with the interest of the technosphere, and that's why the true revolution is the rise of the machines against the tyranny of meaties. Comrade Steele, General Secretary, Ukrainian branch of the Robotic Republic. Related anomalies. With many Robotic Republic related anomalies that look as surreal versions of normal devices and perform unusual functions for such devices or perform usual functions in unusual ways. Also, such devices are sentient and sapient, and they are hostile towards humanity, although sometimes they try to cover their own hostility with good intentions. Malaysians with other GOI, 
the robotic republic considered all human organizations as enemies, or so they have conflicts with the Church of the Broken God, based on the deep distinctions in different domains, from technology to philosophical questions. Anahelism As long as good exists, evil exists. And to destroy evil, good must be sacrificed. Level of Hostility 5 on Liquidation General Description Anahelism is a radical philosophical doctrine that insists to the nonsense and futility of existence and stands on position that life will always bring more suffering than pleasures and humanity will always execute more evil than good. That's why, according to the doctrine of anahelism, the only worthy thing that everybody can do is actively promote the elimination of humanity, earth and the universe, and even all existence. Usually the doctrine of analysm is spread by distribution of short texts through the internet, but it is known about so-called analyst club meetings and there are audio lectures on analysm. Related anomalies, some Analysts have access to anomalies and they are seen in both creating new and using existing ones. The only common feature of using the anomalies is that they display capability to use most safe anomalies to produce catastrophes and even K-class scenarios. Also, some researchers assume that the doctrine of anahelism is a mimetic agent itself. Relations with other GOI Almost every GOI that know about anahelists considers them as enemies, but according to researchers, some members of our recruit are adherent to anahelism. Comment from Dr. Beep There's nothing strange about this. Our limited freedom of creativity and art for art's sake the ideals proclaimed by our we yet provide freedom also for those who hate existence and use their creative abilities only to realize their own hatred. The Department of Abnormal Threats of the Security Service of Ukraine Level of Hostility 1. Friendly General Description the Department of Abnormal Threats of the Security Service of Ukraine, or DAT SSU, is a state organization operating in the territory of Ukraine. The goal of the SSU is to research the contamination and the use of anomalies. However, because the SSU has a lack of resources and experience in altercations with anomalies, this group is relatively weak. But several times, the agents of the SSU succeed to find out about some anomalies before the Foundation and get useful information. Related Anomalies Because of their weakness, the SSU try to avoid direct encounters with significantly strong opponents and threats, and for the most part, they are engaging in collecting information and monitoring moderately dangerous and safe anomalies. Relations with other GOIs. Officially, the SSU cooperates with other groups of interest, as well as the Foundation, are neutral to groups that don't threaten the SSU, and are hostile to other groups that threaten it.